So as we've explained the full flow function, it basically just um, looks for the uh, multiple of a supplied parameter and it looks for the multiple that is lower than that parameter instead of a multiple that is higher than it. So let's quickly uh, try that. Let's show that with a couple of scenarios. Here I will just say floor. Okay, it always um, this parameter and five. So it finds a multiple of five. And it's, so it basically just goes down um, to 10 instead of going up to 15 like you would have here okay like mrand would go up to 15 but this is going actually going down to 10 uh, even though 10 is further but because you're telling it to do the flow function so you can do the same thing here and uh, you know you see how it, it basically applies so can you see here when you actually use the floor 21 and 2 parameter it picks the lower one that's because you are using the floor and um you, after the floor the one would also consider is the ceiling so the ceiling function does almost opposite what the floor function does only that this time it picks the higher so it does the same thing but this time it picks the a, a it picks a number that is higher than the supplied parameter so here if i just change this to ceiling i see basically picks uh, 15 because 15 is higher and so you can actually see that so those are the um, ways you actually apply all the rounding of the ceiling and the flow function I hope you actually understand this in case you have any question please feel free to uh, drop it on the YouTube page or on our Twitter page we'll be glad to look at it even if the question is not related to the video we'll would be glad to look at all your Excel challenges uh, do you want to know how to be able to perform a particular function in Excel We'll be glad to look at it so we can actually uh, pay attention to it and provide a, a solution as we all work together on it. Thank you.